Hey, what's up everyone? Thirst Thug here, and I have some more shadows for you, but this time, here's those, the gift box that just came out this past week. I figured I'd give you guys a look at what you get with this rendition of the gift box. If it's good enough. Let's see. There we go. Alright. So pretty sure it's always been, or at least recently been, the same contents, so nothing too surprising here, but I know one thing that did change, and I guess we'll take a look ourselves, but supposedly the box, which is kind of the main reason why you get this anyways, but you know, besides the packs, of course, but the box itself, must be a lot better made. From what I can tell right away, I'll notice that instead of the instead of the lid being kind of a different width than the base, these meet evenly. So right away I'll tell that that design is much better than the previous boxes. You can actually put weight and it won't start splitting on you. I know my, uh, well, I think the Battle for Zendikar box I got was already splitting open before it was even, before the wrap was even taken off, so that was pretty disappointing. And then inside of here, you have pretty thick wall in here, and then this itself is actually pretty stable. So, Pretty decent box actually for storing whatever you want in here. Probably magic cards. And as far as what's inside the box, you get this pack which includes, I believe, five booster packs, some dividers, and a small land pack, I think. So let me try to cut this open with a doing too much damage here. I think a knife needs sharpened. Okay. Skip forward in the editing because uh for some reason that was pain in the butt. Anyways, so here are the dividers it comes with. Let's go ahead and open this up and give you guys a quick look. Pretty cool looking. Especially that one. We got, I believe Nahiri. Can't really tell. Sort of looks like her in the background there. And some uh, labels and land with a foil alternate art Ravenous Bloodseeker. And then, of course, it comes with five packs. Actually, I think there's some more stuff in here, too. Yeah, some more labels. And a quick reference guide in case you need that. Let's go ahead and uh, crack these five packs and see what we got. The fun and mysterious part. Skip to the uncommons. We have an obsessive Skinner, Ravenous Bloodseeker, Inner Struggle, and a Choke Estuary. That's cool. And we have a Flip Hermit of the, Net the Natternals, which of course flips into Lone Wolf of the Natternals. Island and Clue. 
next pack. We have Broken Concentration, Markra Ekopod, Ongoing Investigation, and a Scourge Wolf. Two red, you get a first striker, that's a 2-2, two -two. it's a wolf, horror. You also have double strike if you have Delirium enabled. And then we have a Gatsaf Arsonist for a flip. And Plains and Vampire Knight. Next pack, we are starting off with Dissension in the Ranks, Liliana's Indignation, Paranoid Parish Blade, and Tamiya's Journal. So this is a 5-drop artifact that generates a clue token on your upkeep. You can tap it and sack three of them and search your library for a card and put that in your hand. And then we have a Harvest Hand and a Foil Murderer's Axe. Harvest Hand flips into a Scrounge Scythe. Alright, we have Pick the Brain. Pour over the pages. Tenacity and Angel of Deliverance. So 6 and 2 white flyer at the 6 6. And when you have Delirium enabled, you get to exile target creature and opponent controls when the Angel does damage. And then we have another Gatsaf Artist Nests. Alright, last pack. We have Dance with Devils, Creeping Dread, Fleeting Memories, and a Fevered Visions. The one in blue and red enchantment that lets each player draw a card at their end step. And if your opponent has four more cards in the hand when that occurs, it deals two damage to them. Then we have a Hair of Falconrath. And a foil hope against hope. Oh. So nothing crazy here, but uh, still cool to open packs nonetheless when you get a box. I believe the Chope Estuary is probably the best pull here. A <laughs> decent number of pulls for our. Uh, Blue Clues and Milvac though, kind of cool. Alright guys, hope you guys like the looking on the gift box. Um, I know that if you had concerns before about the construction of the box, it looks like they're doing a much better job at that. So, glad to see that Wizards is listening and stepping up the game a little bit. And you can actually use the box and put stuff on it without <laughs> worrying about it being crushed. And then of course you get the usual goodies inside. Hope you guys liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And until next video, guys, I will catch you later.